Welcome to the latest episode of The UFO Show. Our first story in this edition revolves around a professor who contends we've already seen evidence of aliens in our recent history, and it might have been extraterrestrial trash. Back in September of 2017, the highest definition telescope on Earth in Hawaii caught sight of a mysterious object flying through the solar system, a shiny 100-yard long object that was neither comet nor meteorite. It traveled at approximately 196,000 miles per hour. That's fast, as it whipped around the sun. The scientists studying the object dubbed it Oumuamua, which is Hawaiian for scout. The scientists believe this is the first object to enter our solar system from another solar system because of how fast it was going. They determined it arrived at an already high rate of speed and wasn't being influenced by the sun's gravity alone. In layman's terms, this scout comes from somewhere way way out there, and we still don't know where. One man has a guess, though, and now he's speaking out about it. He's a Harvard professor named Avi Loeb, and in a new book called Extraterrestrial, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth, he explains why he thinks good old Oumuamua is very possibly alien junk. For starters, it doesn't look like anything astronomers have seen up there before, and Loeb speculates that it's at least 10 times more reflective than typical solar system asteroids or comets. Even NASA's official website says it's about half a mile long and that astronomers have never seen a natural object with such extreme proportions in the solar system before. And its movement wasn't as influenced by the sun's gravity as a flying object normally would be. In fact, it sped up as it moved away from that big yellow star, indicating it was being pushed by a force other than the sun. Professor Loeb estimates the likelihood of Oumuamua being a typical comet is somewhere in the neighborhood of one in a quadrillion. I'm no math expert, but that tells us we're dealing with something other than your normal space rock. So what is this thing, which we can safely describe as an unidentified flying object? Professor Loeb thinks it could be something similar to a sail, or some kind of navigation buoy used by an alien civilization. Perhaps it was discarded by whatever was using it, or it just fell off whatever it was attached to, like something coming loose off a car or a boat. Whatever it is, Loeb has an amusing way of summing up the importance of the thing, saying, quote, the only way to look for alien civilization is to look for their trash, like investigative journalists who look through celebrities' trash. And what if this space trash has hit other planets? Perhaps there are more objects like it on the moon or Mars something our ever-evolving rovers could really look into. Wouldn't it be something to get our hands on something like Oumuamua? Is it possible? Why not? We won't know for sure until we see another like it. So come on, aliens, send some more of your trash our way. And guess what? We may soon learn that we've already got our hands on some of that alien trash, or perhaps even more pertinent extraterrestrial items. Before he left office, President Trump signed a 2.3 trillion COVID-19 relief and federal funding bill. But there's one item in the bill that may have gone unnoticed by a large section of the public. By order of the Senate, the bill includes languages that quote, directs the director of national intelligence to submit a report within 180 days to the Congressional Intelligence and Armed Services Committees on Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. Put simply, the Pentagon has 180 days from the date that the bill was signed, which was December 17th, 2020, to reveal everything they know about UFOs. Now, it's already become somewhat common for the Pentagon to show their hand when it comes to unexplained phenomena. In April of 2020, the Defense Department unveiled video of a US fighter pilot's encounter with an unidentified flying object. A real one-of-a-kind moment for our country and civilization at large. This was perhaps the closest we've come to seeing actual no BS footage of a UFO. And here it was the Pentagon providing the first look. At the time, retired Senator Harry Reid said he was glad the footage was released and that it, quote, only scratches the surface of research and material available. This is the same Harry Reid who, in the paranormal documentary The Phenomenon, claimed UFOs have tried interfering with our nuclear weapons while flying over our military bases. Reid is a believer and, one would assume, knows even more than he's already revealed. And while we have to wait for those official announcements, perhaps we've already gotten a sneak preview. The Black Vault, a self-described repository of declassified government documents, recently released an eye-opener of a document dump. Over 2,700 pages of official CIA files dealing directly with UFOs, or UAPs as they like to call them, unidentified aerial phenomena. According to the CIA, which provided the CD-ROM to the Black Vault, this is their entire trove of UAP-related documents. Although this is the CIA we're talking about, so who knows if that's true. Now here's the frustrating part. One has to download all 2,700 pages 
and sift through them, and many pages are poorly photocopied, hence hard to read. One can theorize if that's intentional. Naturally, many details and names have been redacted, so we're still not getting the full story here. The Black Vault founder, John Greenwald, is careful to note these documents are not related to whatever the Pentagon is set to reveal this year, but it's still interesting to comb through the info that is already available to the public. Among the highlights Greenwald discusses, an incident in 1976 when a deputy director of the CIA had a physical piece of what might have been a UFO delivered to his office. Another 1976 incident where UFO officials discuss a UFO sighting in Morocco in a document that is heavily redacted. There's a government doctor in the 1950s who discovers a quote-unquote space message that the CIA went on to attempt to discredit. Also in the 50s, sightings of large quote fiery disks in the Belgian Congo. There's a sighting in 1973 of a bright green spherical object, which widened and then disappeared after 15 seconds. With a special note that this sighting might have taken place at a biological weapons testing site in the former USSR. There are plenty more fascinating documents detailing factoids like these, far too many to go over here. But UFO enthusiasts would definitely do themselves well to check out theblackvault.com to see the hundreds of pages of documents for themselves. It's important to reiterate that these weren't the random ramblings of conspiracy theorists crackpots. These articles came directly from the CIA. So what else will the government unveil when the time comes? Obviously, it's hard to say at the moment, but we can surely geek out and speculate. More videos of close encounters? Some bombshell revelations about Area 51? Whatever it is, we might ultimately be able to count 2021 as the year we learned more about UFOs than any other year. And that's it for now, folks. The truth is out there, somewhere, and we're going to be keeping an eye on things for all you true believers. And if you have anything to share with us, don't hesitate to send us an email at ufoshow at joeblow.com. We're eager to hear from all our fellow UFO and outer space enthusiasts. Also, please share your thoughts and any cool extraterrestrial news you have in the comments section. Thank you for watching our show. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our Paranormal Network channel, tell your friends who like this sort of content, and turn on the bell to receive notifications for all our latest videos. We're an independent company, and we appreciate all your support.